Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can tell here by the title of this video, it is not a Sims video. And you can probably also tell that I have made some changes to my channel art. And the point is that I wanted to make something different. I love making Sims videos, I love building, it is still my creative outlet. But the past uh, two months, I would say, I think exactly two months almost, I have actually been committed to drawing uh, more or less every single day to get a lot better. I've always loved drawing and I thought that I would just share my experience with drawing and what I've learned so far in the two months, uh, how far I've gotten um, and just how much I have improved. And I also would like to know if you are like interested in art, if you want to draw, if you do draw, if you're scared to start drawing, if there's anything about drawing that you would want to know or want to ask me, feel free to talk about it in the comments and I'll make sure to answer it in my next video. So I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about my experience with art. And for as long as I can remember, I've always loved to draw. And I remember my mother telling me that when I was just four, four or five years old, I would actually sit for hours and hours just sitting and drawing with my crayons and with my markers and just sit there all on my own and just be very content. And you know, kids' uh, attention span is very short. So for me to actually sit there for hours, I mean, <laughs> that's dedication, right? And it, it wasn't any like special drawings that I would do. I mean, I was four or five year old, so it would just be circles and shapes and loads of colors, you know, just the average drawing from a kid. And I don't know, I've always loved drawing. And ever since I was small, maybe a little bit older than four or five, but I think around eight was when I actually noticed that, wow, I mean, you can actually draw something and it looks like something else. You know, it looks like something from real life. You can actually draw an apple and it looks like an apple and so forth. So. Since I was eight or nine, I used to go home to my cousin's house and she was around 20, I think, when I was nine or 10. And she is an artist. She studied art in high school and uh, she actually works as an artist as well. So since I was small, I always had that kind of creativity around me. She would always draw, she would sculpt things in clay. She was always very, very good at it. And so I had that as an inspiration and I would always sit there with her. She would draw and I would draw my own things and it would be a lot of fun. I would always look up to her as well because I thought like, wow, she's really clever. I'd like to get there someday. And the things that she used to draw was mostly animals and like fairies and these kind of fantasy type things. So that was also my inspiration from what I drew. So I always drew animals when I was when I was small. I never really drew people. When I saw her drawings, I always said like, wow, you're really clever. And I told her like all these nice compliments and she would be like, thank you. And but it's not really that good. Like, it's OK, you know. So for me as a child, it's like 10 years old see someone create like a masterpiece in my eyes which i still think it's really nice when i look back back at it today to say it's okay and then i look at my drawing and like well if that is okay what is my drawing you know but then again when she looked at her own drawing she was very critical which made me also critical of my own drawings because i looked up to her she was my role model when it came to drawing and being artistic so when she'd said that, that she wasn't happy with hers, then of course I wasn't going to be happy with mine, right? Because it wasn't even half as good as hers. So it kind of started there that I started to doubt my own drawings. And they're not great. Like when I look back at it now, they're okay. Um, but it started there anyway. And then when you go to school and you feel like, wow, I'm good at drawing and whatever, and it's fun. And then... You know, there's always one or two kids in school that's going to be like, yeah, well, that sucks. Like, that doesn't look good. Or this person over here draws much better. Like, you should have a competition. You should draw something and we should vote. And you know how kids are. So you would do that and the other person would win. Uh, and 
you would feel like, well, then I need to get better, like my drawings are crap, you know, because they would tell you that over and over. And then on top of that, you have like my cousin who is so good at drawing and she herself is very critical at her own drawing. So I was like, well, obviously I need to do better or obviously I don't have talent. Talent is something that you're born with. And I always looked at my cousin and she's older than me. And I always like, wow, she's really talented. That's why she can draw. Like that must be the key to be able to draw. But that's not true, right? But when I was small, I was like, well, I don't have the talent. That's why I can't draw. It was like, oh, right, right. That's why I can't. So it doesn't matter how much I draw. I'm never going to be that good. I can still get a little bit better, but I'm never going to be that good. And you would also hear in class that, oh, but you don't have talent. Like, it looks okay. But this person over here, oh, she's really talented or he's really talented or you're super good at that or whatever. And as a kid, yes, the teachers would tell you, but you're good at that. It looks nice. But me as a kid would think, well, you're a grown up. You're saying that to me so I won't feel sad. Um, but maybe that's not the case. So I think I was also my own biggest critic at the same time that I looked up to someone that was their own biggest critic. And on top of that, people were saying that I didn't have talent, that I couldn't draw, my drawings were ugly, and everyone else, well, those around me were better than me. When you hear those things as a kid, obviously you believe them. So even when I went home and I showed my drawings to, to my mother, she would be like, but that's really cute, it's really nice. <laughs> and of course your mother is going to say that and of course she's going to really believe that but when you're a kid and you've heard all of the other things first and then one nice compliment comes you are a bit hesitant to believe it so at least that was my experience with art and when I got older it just got worse and I came to a point where I was afraid to pick up the pen and I would not draw for months and months because I knew that I would just ruin it or I would like, you know, waste paper because I knew I was just going to throw it away anyway because I wasn't happy with it. And when I was around 13 or 14, I, that was the time where internet became bigger. So when I was even younger than that, I, I like it wasn't like I could just go out on Google or YouTube and be like, yeah, search like how to draw, and, you know, you're going to have to read books or go to the library and things like that. And it just wasn't as accessible as it is today. Like you here watching my video, like I didn't have that. So I really thought that, well, if I don't have the talent, then I can't get better. Like I don't have it in me. So I stopped drawing from the ages of, I think like around 15 up until, well, maybe 16, 16 up until now. And I'm almost 22. Like that's a lot of years of not drawing at all. So when I pick up the pen like two months ago, my current skills or whatever you want to call it was from when I was 16. I still have that. So I was drawing like when I was 16, which was really bad, <laughs> really, really bad. And I was, I'm going to admit, I was very scared to start, um, but I'm very happy I did. I went out on YouTube. I also went to the library actually and borrowed some books on how to draw with anatomy and just the facial structures and all of those things, animals as well. And I also went to YouTube and I searched up loads of like how to videos, how to draw this, how to draw noses, eyes and hair and anything and the anatomy and tips and tricks on how to draw, why you should draw, why you like, you know, and then I came across a video about talent and it was also I think a sketchbook session and they were literally saying that you don't need talent to draw at all you don't, you don't need it you can learn it yourself it might take very long it might go very quick everyone learns in a different pace but the point was that you do not need talent to draw it is a skill that you learn you're not born with knowing how to draw and I guarantee you everyone can go back and look at their old drawings from when they were like four five six seven it does not look like a Picasso drawing or painting you know it does not look like that and that's okay 
when we were small, we had more creativity, we had more imagination, we had more time to explore what we like and what we felt we wanted to invest our time in. So by investing that time, naturally you get better. So by the time that you're 9 or 10, you might be better than the average 9 or 10 year old that didn't actually like drawing, so they didn't draw. But they might be geniuses at doing maths, and they might be really good at other subjects in school that maybe you or someone else didn't like because you like dancing or you like drawing or you like playing the piano or the guitar you know so you don't have to have talent you don't need to be born with it to learn these things what i think many people confuse talent with is passion if you have passion to learn something you will do it it might take years i promise you it will take years some might take months depending on what you're trying to learn but if you're consistent with it and you do it every single day or every second even you will get better and that's the point i wanted to make with this video is i was very discouraged by people in my surroundings and most of all by myself that i couldn't draw because i didn't have talent which looking back at it now i can understand but it's very silly so I just wanted to make this video for everyone who has been scared of drawing or who have been told that they can't draw or they can't be better or that they don't have talent just like me when I was small and I want to tell you that you can draw you can do anything you want you can draw as much as you like or as little as you like and you can get better and I have a few tips that I have learned I suppose and the first one is that you need to accept that a lot of days are going to be bad days. Like some days I can't even draw a stick man to save my life. Like I cannot draw. And it's okay. Like everyone has those days. But keep drawing anyway. Do not let that discourage you. Because that's what happened to me. So secondly, I suggest that you do anything you can to find resources. Like you go to the library. You can go to YouTube. You can go to blogs and where they... You can also go to like Skillshare and take a class in drawing. And that has helped a lot, for me at least. I also suggest that you make a commitment to draw consistently. Whether it's every single day, every second day, or even just a few hours a week. I promise you that it will help you a lot. Even on those bad days and you feel like you can't draw anything to save your life draw anyway like stick to it even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes work through it okay because you will know until next time what to improve you can look back on that sketch and you can say wow that was terrible i need to make that better take notes if you want to or if you need to i do it and it works so for the next time the next day or the next week or whatever when you're going to draw again you know this is what i'm not going to do and i'm going to be better and lastly it is totally okay to take a break. I don't mean for you to draw every single day until you get fed up with it or you get an art block because that is not my intent. I just draw consistently as much as it suits you, as much as you have time to and as much as you want to and you will see improvement. And when I mean take a break, it could be a week or two weeks or just a few days depending on your schedule and how consistent you are with drawing. That's really all I had to say about this video and about this subject. I just wanted to share with you my experience with art and what I've learned since I was younger and also the past two months that I've been drawing consistently. And I just want to say I've learned a lot even in these two months and I assure you, you can too. So if you like this kind of video, these sketchbook sessions, I am happy to make more. Uh, I also suggest that you draw along with me. It helped me anyway. I watched other videos on YouTube and I drew along with them. And it was really relaxing and I learned a lot. And they would just sit there and talk about their experiences. And I would watch them draw and I would draw myself. And it was just very a very nice and relaxing time. So if that's what you like to do, Feel free to do that and let me know in the comments and just thank you so much for being here for sticking through the whole video i know i talked a lot 
I'm sorry about that, but I'm very passionate about drawing again and it feels really good. So I just wanted to share that with you and hopefully if you have lost that passion, that you got it back as well by watching this video or watching other people's videos as well. Just know that if you want to get better, you can. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.